blessed each of you on this morning. As I mentioned to some of you all that may have come a little later, it's a meal waiting for me somewhere. So this won't be, and I haven't had anything to eat. So I, 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 I see moving quickly on today. But I, uh, I would that you would consider Hebrews 4, verses six, 4, verse 16. Just one verse. And I want to give it to you from a couple of uh, translations. Hebrews 4, verse 16. It reads as follows. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace in the end time of need. The New Living says, so let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. Okay. There we will receive his mercy and we will find grace to help us when we need it most. Probably the most apt was the Message Bible. It says, so let's walk right up to him and get what he is so ready to give. Take the mercy, except the help. For a few minutes on this Sunday, I'd like to share a message and the title of that message is, Lord, have mercy. Look across the room and let's repeat that. Lord, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The authorship of the book of Hebrews is up for debate. Some scholars point to a Pauline authorship saying the Bible, this book was penned by the Apostle Paul. The late Bishop D.E. Passon also supported that this book had a Pauline authorship. The book of Hebrews does not name its author. Well, saints, God knows who wrote it. Yeah. This book's theme is the superiority of Jesus Christ over the old covenant. The key word of this epistle is better. I will say it's Stephen Smith's cliff note version of this book's theme, and that theme that Jesus is better. Say that one time. Jesus is better. My brothers and my sisters in Christ, Jesus is better than the law, yeah. rituals, tradition, and even better than angels. Let's go back to our text. Hebrews 4 verse 16 reads as follows. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace yeah. that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Saints, I would submit that there's hardly anyone present here today that doesn't need mercy for their past and presence and grace or unmerited favor for help in time of need. Saints, God is so ready to be a solution for us in our various times of need. Psalm 46 verse 1 states that God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in our time of trouble. Saints, the be clause of our sermon text would be great all by its lonesome because all of us need to find favor to help in our time of need. But we are admonished to come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy. Yeah. The writer by saying come boldly is telling us that we can come without reservation, yeah. with full confidence and with full and open speech unto the throne of grace. The writer seeks to pass on the thought that we would approach a throne of grace and not of judgment. Yeah. Saints, how many of us deserve judgment for our past deeds yeah. and present infractions yeah. that haven't aligned themselves with God's best? I would dare stand in front of you as a person who doesn't need mercy. Saints, your pastor needs mercy and heaps of it on a daily basis. So since I need so much mercy, I had better learn to come boldly before the throne of grace that I may obtain mercy and find grace to help in my various times of need. Saints, some like to call grace by this acronym, G-R-A-C-E, God's Riches at Christ's expense. My brothers and my sisters in Christ, we're now living in especially turbulent and troubling times. Our former Attorney General, the Honorable Eric Holder, often waxed eloquently about the temper of the times. We, we, we're living in times with a crazy temper. We're in a moment where so many of our nettles are being challenged daily. Yeah. In this moment where so many first-rate thinkers are needed, these thinkers are often discovering themselves challenged by the fierceness of this moment. The late Howard Thurman, a noted educator, once employed his students to never allow the horizons of their dreams to be reduced 
by their experiences. Saints of God, we all been through a whole lot of things and a whole lot of stuff. God's desires for each of us to dream past all of the drama that we've endured. Just for a minute, saints, can you dream? Just close your eyes. Close them bigger eyes. Can you dream past all of your drama? Look over yonder and tell them folks on the other side of the room to dream past their drama. Don't allow your nightmares of yesteryear to rob you of the great dreams that you have of the future. That was a sidebar. That was a bar that I just felt I needed to drop on you. Now back to our text, the two previous verses in Hebrews 4, uh, uh, the Hebrews 4 verses 14 and 15 reads as follows. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. Uh -huh. For Verse 15, for we have not a, a high priest which cannot be touched yeah. with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we yeah. are, yet without sin. Yes, I said one of the core things of the book of Hebrews is that Jesus is better. So we have a high priest in Jesus who, who's better than one, uh, better than anyone that has ever preceded him. We have a high priest who's better than any that will ever follow him. These verses in Hebrews 4 also inform us that Jesus, the Son of God, has experienced all of the struggles, temptations, and sufferings that we see on a routine basis. While he walked this earth, Jesus weathered all of the storms that we go through, but he did not succumb to sin. So Jesus is our perfect example. Jesus is our perfect substitute. Jesus is our only high priest. We can trust God, Jesus, as our source of help and healing. Our Christ fully understands what it means to be human. And that should give each of us the confidence when we bring to him our failures and our needs. There's no one present here today that hasn't had a failure. And there's no one here today that doesn't have a present need. Saints, we need God and we need God desperately. Our salvation or our deliverance comes through Jesus. Ephesians 2 verses 18 through 19, the writer wrote, for through him we both have access to the Father by one spirit. Verse 19, now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. Saints, we are saved by grace through our faith in Jesus Christ. We're no longer outsiders, we're no longer foreigners, and we're no longer strangers to the things of God. We're fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. Saints, we're members of the family all because of the sacrifice of our Savior. Lord, have mercy. Saints, we're judged daily by those in the world who don't understand our walk with Christ. Let them judge. One day soon, you'll see that serving God will pay off after a while. Lord, have mercy. In Israel, it was the mercy seat or the covering of the ark between the two cherubim. The high priest could only approach this only once a year, and that was with the blood of atonement. If he transgressed in anything, he would be struck dead. His approach was with fear and trembling. I would venture to say that we have far less preachers in this day. If, if if coming before God would get me get one struck dead on the spot. Christ is better, my brothers and sisters in Christ, because in the new covenant, believers can come boldly to God's throne without fear and trembling. And that can be done daily at any time. Saints, that's certainly what I would call better. Saints, with Jesus, we have freedom, confidence, and liberty of approach. I know I'm lecturing to you a long time, and you say, he goes with that old paper. Uh, the old uh, some that say in the church that you can't catch no fire. You can't carry no fire on no paper. But what I learned a long time ago, you can start some fire with some paper. Saints, we are promised mercy and grace in our sermon text. Mercy in the Greek is elios. It means pity, 
clemency, compassion, and mercy. There's a lot of people, present company included, who need a little bit of pity, some compassion, and some clemency from on high. Saints, none of the, us are those of us who got too far on the cloud or in heaven and just accidentally slipped up and fell on the other side and landed on earth. Psalm 51 verse 5 records the words of the free sweet psalmist who expounds, Behold, I was shapen in iniquity and in sin that my, my mother conceived me. Saints, most of us were sinners from day one. <laughs> we didn't wait there while we were saying God, God, goo, goo. That was, we were right there in sin. So none of us are perfect and most of us are in need of some mercy at all times. Our sermon text also promises us grace to help when needed. Saints, God's ready to be our present help. And not only a yesterday help, not only a tomorrow help, but God's ready to be a present help to each of us. How many of you all need some help right through here, right now? Lord, have mercy. Saints, the thing that you've been grappling with and wrestling with, God's ready to give you grace or unmerited favor in your time of need. Saints of God, you don't need to every face, you don't need to ever face a time of need without finding some of God's grace to help in the time of need. Listen to this, your life coach can't do what the grace of God can do. Your YouTube guru can't do what the grace of God can do. Your psychic can't do what the grace of God can do. Lord, have mercy. Saints, we're in need of God's mercy and God's grace. Saints, if it wasn't for the grace of God, Kirk Carr said that he would be lost like a ship without sail. And without it, I would be nothing. I am sure that I would fail. Lord, have mercy. The GMWA Mass Choir was saying that if it wasn't for the grace, I would not from sin be set free. Wondrous grace that God gave me. Saints, don't you dare face any day without God's grace and God's mercy. Saints, we can lean on Jesus for compassion. We're in the midst of our trials. Jesus knows the help that we need and when we need it. Jesus is our prophet without peer and our high priest without equal preach Steve I am Saints Hebrews 4 verse 16 also tells us to hold fast to our profession of faith Saints we need to cling to Christ even in these uncertain times Saints all of us need to approach God's throne of grace daily for the strength to face the ills of our day Saints God sitting on the throne of his holiness and we had better be dependent upon and built upon the work of Christ, the high priest of our profession. Lord, have mercy. Christ's work has made God's throne a throne of grace and not a throne of righteous judgment. I know that we all feel like we all that and a bag of chips. But if it wasn't for the grace and mercy of God, all of us would be eternally lost. Lord have mercy. Saints, we can come before throne, God's throne with grace, without any fear, without any reservation, and without any apprehensions, whenever we need to. Lord, have mercy. Saints, I desire to take the mercy and accept the help that God gives. I pray that you will do the same. Lord, have mercy. My brothers and my sisters in Christ, without the sacrifice of Jesus, none of us could or would be found in right standing. Saints, you had better come on in this house because it's about to rain. And they used to say, can't you see the clouds gathering? Come on, hear the one time, Soprano. Somebody out there, y'all heard that song. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Sister Melanie, president of, of the choir. Come on. Can't you see well, they used to sing that they used to do something for me when I heard it. So, so, but we have to see the clouds gathering. We have to see the signs of the time. Saints, time is winding up. Saints, the books are about to close. Saints of God, I want to be found right. 
Saints, I need some mercy. Saints, I need a pardon, and that pardon that I need won't come from any American governor nor any American president. Jesus is my hope. Jesus is my help. Lord, have mercy. Saints, I would venture to say that there's not an hour of the day that I don't need some form of help, some grace, or some mercy. Lord, have mercy. Saints, we can come before God's throne of grace with boldness and confidence all because we have an excellent high priest. We don't need to wait for that special time once a year that we can approach God's throne of grace and I'm ready to ride. Saints, we can do this even now. While the world counts and remembers every one of your sins, God threw our multiple sins into a sea of forgiveness because of Christ. My brothers and my sisters in Christ, our God not only has the power to help us, but he has the will. Lord, have mercy. The high priest in the Old Testament was allowed in the to the Holy of Holies only once a year. But believers now may approach God at any time. Lord, have mercy. One commentary is take. On our takes is as follows. We come to God not brazenly, flippantly, but with confidence. We can pray with confidence because we have a sympathetic high priest in heaven. The word boldly carries ideas of confidence or something without concealment. We do not use circumcumulation while we approach Jesus in prayer. We can fiercely approach him with the assurance that he will hear and answer prayer. Saints of God, you're not right in your own strength. You ain't all that. You ain't all that in a bag of chips. But saints of God, because of the grace of God, you can come boldly before the throne of grace. I know there's some folks, the Bible says that they throw your sins into a sea of forgiveness. And there's some Negroes out there that will go deep sea fishing on a daily basis trying to dig up your dirt. I had a guy, he's selling the car to a couple. The couple said, it's hard for us to buy a car since Steve Smith left the business. Then he went all the way back to the old Steve to bring some Steve. Hey, it was totally unnecessary. Why would you tell them that? Why would you bring up some dirt when I was 19 or 20 years old? Why would you go all the way back? And he brought it all the way back. But God gave me the day. Why I didn't try to get it even with him. But I'm standing before him in a casket because he woke up one morning and God just snatched the breath out of him. Saints of God, I know folks are counting your sins and naming them one by one. But how many of y'all know that was the only one that was before the grace, before the mercy that God came your way. So you can fiercely approach Jesus in prayer. We can approach him with the assurance that he will hear and not only hear, but answer our prayer. We do not have to do a religious toe dance for God to hear our prayer. Say, God hears you. God knows that the new soccer Messiah. See a man in the hunger. I see the doing on hunger your side. I'm saying that God paid the price. It ain't got nothing to do with you. Seeds for us. We do not come in our name or our merit, but in his name and his merit. He will intercede for us whether we ask him or not. Saints, I'm so happy that we have a father who cares. Lord, have mercy. Hebrews 7, verse 25. Wherefore he is able. Also, to say 
them to the uttermost. That's where he found them that come unto God by him. Seeing he ever living to make intercession for them. Jesus is continually, currently making intercession for his people. The throne of Christ is his presence. Thank you. 